Today, we are going to begin to learn how to tune our instruments. We'll use water bottles in order to develop those beginning skills today. Do you have your water bottle? Tuning is a very important skill to have when playing a stringed instrument because our string instruments can fall out of tune for many reasons, including the weather and humidity, structural problems, rough handling when transporting your instrument even while it's in its case, or bad luck. In order to tune your instrument, we will start with the fine tuners. The fine tuners are the tiny screws located in the tailpiece of your instrument. Bases, you will notice that you do not have fine tuners on your instrument. You will learn to tune using the machine heads that are connected to the scroll box at the top of your instrument. It's really important never to let an inexperienced person tune your instrument because most of the time it results in a broken string or other issues. Not to mention, they'll probably make your instrument sound worse and not better. Most string breaks happen when a peg is turned too quickly in the wrong direction or when an inexperienced person attempts to tune your instrument. So now you have to become the expert on tuning on your instrument. Protect your instrument, protect your investment, and only tune using the fine tuners. We'll learn to use the pegs later on. But until then, if you have an issue that can't be solved with a fine tuner, just ask me or your private tutor and we will happily tune your instrument using the pegs. All of this information may seem a little overwhelming today, but it's okay. I'm going to put this video online so that you can access it at any time and you can practice tuning on your own at home so that you feel totally confident in tuning your own instrument. Today, you are going to learn to tune using the fine tuners. The fine tuners are the small screws located in the tailpiece of your instrument. Bases you are going to learn using the machine heads located in the scroll box of your instrument. Do not attempt to tune your instrument using the pegs in the scroll box until Mrs. Capaletti or your private instructor teaches you how to do that properly. Before we get started, let's make sure that everyone has their water bottle. The water bottle is important today because we're going to get a feel for how to twist the fine tuners based on the directions that we twist the water bottle cap. Before we begin to twist and alter the sounds of our instruments, we need to make sure that we can tell the difference between an instrument that's in tune and an instrument that is out of tune. So we're going to do a little bit of ear training to test our ability to tell the difference between an instrument that's already in tune or an instrument that needs adjusting. Trust yourself and don't look around at your classmates. Answer for yourself so that you can have confidence in your abilities of matching and not matching pitches. For each example, the tuner will sound the entire time and the instrument will play its pitch three times. On the third time, the correct response will be revealed to you. If the pitch is matching, meaning that the pitch that the instrument is playing is the same as the pitch that the tuner is sounding, you will put a flat hand over the top of your water bottle. If the pitch, however, is not matching, I would like you to raise your hand and hold your water bottle high in the air as soon as you decide it is not matching. Again, if the pitch is matching, meaning that the pitch that the instrument is playing is the same as the pitch that the tuner is sounding, you will put a flat hand over the top of your water bottle. If the pitch, however, is not matching, I would like you to raise your hand and hold your water bottle high in the air as soon as you decide it is not matching.
well matching pitch, that's because you're orchestra students. You may have noticed during the exercises that when I play the pitch to compare it to the tuner, I use a very smooth and steady stroke. I do that by placing the tip of my bow in the middle of the place between the fingerboard and the bridge, and I keep a very smooth sound by pressing very lightly and tracing the bow straight across the strings. I'm going to give you an opportunity to practice this skill. I'll give you 10 seconds to get into playing position with a good bow hold. When we tune, we always start with the A string, just like the professionals do. You'll place the tip of your bow on the string to get ready with a smooth, soft upstroke. And in order to tune our instruments, we'll be using our left hands on the instruments. So for now, you can just drop your left hand to the side of your body and hold the instrument with just your body and your right hand bow on the tip of the string. Freeze in this position. We are going to play as softly and as smoothly as we can from tip to frog. Ready, set, go. I win! We are going to do some more ear training, so get your water bottles ready. For each example, the tuner will sound the entire time, and the instrument will play its pitch three times. On the third time, the correct response will be revealed to you. If the pitch is matching, meaning that the pitch that the instrument is playing is the same as the pitch that the tuner is sounding, you will put a flat hand over the top of your water bottle. If the pitch, however, is not matching and is lower than the tuner's sounding pitch, I would like you to twist the cap of your water bottle all the way onto your water bottle and hold your water bottle into the air. Matching, too low.
a pro tuning tip. 95% of the time when your instrument is out of tune, it's because it's too low or too flat, just like the examples we just listened to. So the vast majority of the time when your instrument's out of tune, you'll need to twist the fine tuner tighter, which feels just like twisting the cap of the water bottle on tightly. So if the sound of your instrument is lower than the sound of the tuner, which way do you need to twist your fine tuner in order to get your instrument in tune? Righty tighty, like screwing on the cap of a water bottle. Let's practice our tuning stroke again in a slightly different way. I'll give you 10 seconds to get into playing position with a good bow hold. We always start with the tip of the bow on the A string. Violins and violas, you're going to tuck your arm next to your body, reach up through the bow hole, and we're going to touch the A fine tuner. We're not gonna twist yet, we're just going to touch it. Cellists, you are going to change your body position this time. You will prop the back of your cello on your left leg so that you can reach down in front of you and touch the A string fine tuner. We're not going to twist it yet. Bassists, you will reach up with your left hand and touch the machine head at the top left of the scroll box. Now see how long you can make your bow last by going from the tip to the frog in a straight, smooth, slow stroke while touching the A fine tuner. We're not twisting yet, just touching. Ready, set, go. We're going to do some more ear training, but this time we're going to hold our water bottles in a new way. Everyone make sure you're holding your water bottle in your right hand. Check that the people around you are holding their water bottles in their right hand because that's difficult for some people. Violins and violas, you're going to hold your bottle in your right hand on your left shoulder. Imagine that you're putting the cap of your water bottle where the fine tuners on your instrument will be as you hold your instrument. Then you're going to keep your arm flat tucked next to your body and reach up and around and twist the cap from this position. You are not going to reach through your invisible instrument and twist the cap like this because there would be a violin or viola in the way. So we want to make sure we're curving up and around to twist the cap just like this. Basis, you will hold your water bottle on the left side of your face with the cap pointing behind you outside of your peripheral vision. That's because your machine heads are behind the scroll box and behind you. And you will twist your water bottle cap on and off like this to get the feeling for the motion. Cellists, you will put your water bottle on your left knee. Make sure you're holding with the right hand. Then you will twist your fine tuner water bottle cap to get the correct feeling for the motion. For each example, the tuner will sound the entire time and the instrument will play its pitch three times. On the third time, the correct response will be revealed to you. If the pitch is matching, meaning that the pitch that the instrument is playing is the same as the pitch that the tuner is sounding, 
you will put a flat hand over the top of your water bottle. If the pitch, however, is not matching and is higher than the tuner's sounding pitch, I would like you to twist the cap off your water bottle all the way and hold it up into the air. a pro tuning tip. You will never break a string by loosening it. By twisting your bottle cap or fine tuner in the motion that releases it, you will never put too much tension on your instrument. See if you can answer this question. If the sound your instrument is making compared to the tuner is too high, which way should you turn your fine tuner? Lefty Lucy likes screwing the cap of the water bottle off. Let's practice our tuning stroke one more time. I'll give you 10 seconds to get into playing position with a good bow hold so that we can practice this skill together. When we tune, we always start with the A string and we put the bow at the tip of the bow. This time, we are not only going to touch the A fine tuner, but we are going to twist the A fine tuner as we bow. We are going to loosen the tuner as we bow, so the sound should get lower and lower. Think Lefty Lucy. Ready, plant at the tip of the bow from tip to frog as you loosen. Ready, set, go. I win! No, really, I win. My, my A string's really loose and everything. Is your A string really loose too? Good. Now that your string is sufficiently out of tune, we're gonna practice getting it in tune. But before we do that, I wanna to talk to you about tuning procedures in the orchestra classroom. In my classroom, we use a tuner in order to hear each individual open pitch. We start with A, just like the professionals do. You will listen to A for five seconds. You'll know the five seconds are over because I always count down from five with my fingers. Once all of my fingers are down, 
Then you may begin playing from the tip of your bow on the A string. You'll show me you're ready to tune and start the process by getting into playing position and putting the tip of your bow on the A string. Once I see that everyone is ready, I'll start the tuner and I'll count down from five. You will come in softly at the tip of your bow playing only for yourself and comparing your instrument to the pitch of the tuner. It's important that you play with smooth strokes because if you play with sporadic strokes and uneven pressure, it can be deceiving. Let me show you what I mean. My instrument is in tune, but if I play with hard sporadic strokes, you may not have thought that my instrument was in tune that time because the sound was deceiving. So make sure you're playing with a long, smooth, stroke just like we practiced. Think of how annoying it would be if your stand partner or someone around you were tuning like this. Do you think you would hear the tuner or this? That would make it pretty hard to tune. It's important to be conscious of the people around us and play with a consistent, smooth, and soft tone so that we can tune our instruments courteously and so the other people around us can do the same. Once you're satisfied that your instrument is in tune, go to ready position and wait quietly for the people around you to continue finishing tuning their instruments. If you're talking or playing a song, it's going to be very distracting and you won't be able to hear the tuning pitch that you need to hear. So be courteous, don't start conversations, and don't practice other things during tuning. Just sit quietly in ready position and wait for the next open string. Ask yourself these essential questions. Can I tell when an instrument is matching the tuner? Can I tell when a pitch is wrong and is not matching the tuner? Can I tell not only if a pitch is not matching and wrong, but if it's too low or too high? Violins and violas, you're gonna hold your bottle in your right hand on your left shoulder. Imagine that you're putting the cap of your water bottle where the fine tuners on your instrument will be as you hold your instrument. Then you're going to keep your arm flat tucked next to your body and reach up and around and twist the cap from this position. You are not going to reach through your invisible instrument and twist the cap like this because there would be a violin or viola in the way. So we want to make sure we're curving up and around to twist the cap just like this. Basis, you will hold your water bottle on the left side of your face with the cap pointing behind you outside of your peripheral vision. That's because your machine heads are behind the scroll box and behind you. And you will twist your water bottle cap on and off like this to get the feeling for the motion. Cellists, you will put your water bottle on your left knee. Make sure you're holding with the right hand. Then you will twist your fine tuner water bottle cap to get the correct feeling for the motion. For each example, the tuner will sound the entire time and the instrument will play its pitch three times. On the third time, the correct response will be revealed to you. If the pitch is matching, meaning that the pitch that the instrument is playing is the same as the pitch that the tuner is sounding, you will put a flat hand over the top of your water bottle. If the pitch, however, is not matching and is lower than the tuner's sounding pitch, I would like you to twist the cap of your water bottle all the way onto your water bottle and hold your water bottle into the air. If the pitch, however, is not matching and is higher than the tuner's sounding pitch, I would like you to twist the cap off your water bottle all the way and hold it up into the air. Matching, too low, higher than the tuner's sounding pitch.
I turn the tuner if the pitch is wrong and too low. Righty tighty, like screwing on the cap of a water bottle. Which way should I turn the tuner if the pitch is wrong and not matching and too high? Lefty Lucy, like screwing the cap of the water bottle off. When is a good time to let a family member tune your instrument? How long is my instrument going to stay in tune once I've finished tuning it? Could I possibly help a friend who plays even a different instrument to tell whether or not their instrument is in tune? Do you feel confident in your abilities to tune your instrument with your fine tuners? No, I haven't even tried yet. Let's put those new learned skills to the test and tune our instruments. Grab your water bottle. I would like you to twist the cap off your water bottle, water bottle, water bottle, all the way. Violins and violas, you're gonna hold your butter. Violins and violas, get your batter water. 